Okay, we are back for our Lenten readings in practical meditation for every day of the year, but only for Lent at this time. So, we are in the sixth week of Holy, the sixth week of Lent, Holy Saturday. The burial of our Lord, the first meditation. Be present in spirit at the descent from the cross and the burial of Jesus. Ask for grace to pass this day and the last day of Lent holily. In a holy way, I'm, I'm telling you that means. <laughs> Point one, and after these things, <clears throat> An hour after the death of our Lord, Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave leave. He came, therefore, and took away the body of Jesus and took away the body of Jesus, and Nicodemus also came, he who at first came to Jesus by night, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds weight. They took, therefore, the body of Jesus, and bound it in linen cloths, and with the spices, as the manner of the Jews, is to bury now there was, in the place where he was crucified, a garden, and in the garden a sepulchre wherein no man had been laid. There, therefore, because of the paraclete of the Jews, they laid Jesus, because the sepulchre was nigh at hand. I'll put the definition of those two words in the description. Consideration. Behold the mournful scene at the foot of the cross, and the crowd and soldiers are already gone. The three Marys and the apostle St. John are left alone. At length, God sends two men to their help two who before their conversion were weak and fearful, but whom grace has made bold and resolute. They mount the ladders. They remove the nails that pierce that sacred body. Their hands unfasten Jesus and place him in the arms of his blessed mother. It is they too who aid this most sorrowful mother to bind his sacred body in linen cloths with spices and who place it at last in the glorious sepulchre of what Isaiah has spoken in prophecy. Application. Consider here how God acted toward his beloved son. He who was formerly humiliated and abandoned is now honored and cared for after death. So will God act towards us if we humbly and lovingly resign ourselves to his will in adversity, affections, and resolutions? Wow. Point two. And the next day, which followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees came together to Pilate, saying, Sir, we have remembered that that seducer said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command, therefore, the sepulchre to be guarded until the third day, lest perhaps his disciples come and steal him away and say to the people, he is risen from the dead, so the last error shall be worse than the first. 
And Pilate said to them, You have a guard, go guard it. As you know, and they departing, making the sepultry sure, sealing the stone and settling guards. Consideration. Admire the providence of God in all these circumstances, in the new sepultry near where our Lord was crucified. Hone out of a rock as well as the sealing of the stone and placing a guard, the precautions taken by his enemies, making it impossible even to approach him in his grave. Our Lord permitted it to place the truth of his resurrection beyond dispute, a truth which is the basis of his gospel. Application. We believe in an ever-working providence. Far be it from us to look on events here below as chances or accidents. Far from us that despondency. Which occasionally overpowers the most devoted servants of our Lord at beholding the temporary triumphs of impiety. It is when the disciples of Jesus thought it was all lost that their master overcame the grave and confounded his enemies forever. Far from us also that melancholy, which is the sight of death or a funeral sometimes produces. Let us conquer it by the consoling thought of the resurrection from which we shall pass, as did our Lord, from death into unto life eternal. Colloquy with Jesus in the sepultry. So we have left Easter Sunday. Easter Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the end is Saturday, okay? So that's where we will end this reading, these readings, okay? It will be right there, and when they start new, it will be low Sunday, okay? So I will see you tomorrow.